Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core, and welcome back to my Red Dead series. In today's video, I'm going to be going over 10 things that you guys should all be doing to prepare for the next major DLC into Red Dead Online, which will be this summer update. And we only really have a couple of weeks of summer left now, guys, so this update should be just around the corner. <coughs> Hopefully. In this video, I'll be going over what items you guys should purchase in advance of this update, what you should actually stockpile in the game in your inventory, and also how much money you should need to have saved to get a head start for when this update drops. So the first tip is to either have Amazon or Twitch Prime or even claim the free trial. Even if you use the free trial and cancel it before it charges you, you'll still be able to keep the Twitch Prime rewards forever in-game. And Rockstar are doing a pretty major partnership right now with Twitch Prime, which is arguably better than the rewards from even the PlayStation partnership. And you might have seen each week in the Red Dead Online news posts, there's Twitch Prime benefits where they're getting additional benefits over everybody else each week. And it is highly likely that Twitch Prime members will also get huge advantages in the summer update. The reason we know this is because Rockstar did the same thing with GTA Online with the last update that that game got. So with the Casino DLC, everybody that was a Twitch Prime member actually got a free Master Penthouse Suite, um, which was worth, I believe, about 1.5 million in-game. So that was a huge, huge advantage all of their Prime members got. So with such a substantial reward in GTA Online, there's a big possibility that Red Dead Online is going to do the same thing. I actually just got my Prime account linked a few days ago, I still don't have my rewards yet in-game. Apparently it can take a few weeks for those to get set up properly before you actually get your Prime rewards in-game. So if you guys are planning to get the Prime benefits, it is advisable to do it in advance of the update. If you don't have Prime yourself, it might be worth asking maybe a family member that has Amazon Prime and doesn't... If you don't have Twitch Prime yourself, it might also be worth asking around maybe a friend or a family member that has Amazon Prime and is willing to give the Twitch Prime to you so you can get the in-game benefits. Basically, anybody that has Amazon Prime also gets free Twitch Prime. The next thing you guys might want to consider picking up is the Lockbreaker that costs $95 at a fence. Now this price is a wee bit steep, it's actually four times the cost of a lockbreaker in single player for some reason. But the lockbreaker was actually a super useful purchase in Red Dead Redemption 2 single player, as you could use it to open the locks on stagecoaches stealthily. So far in online there's been no real use for the lockbreaker since you can just open them without the lockbreaker with your weapon. However, the summer update is confirmed to bring more lootables and valuable carriages, so the lockbreaker will finally have a practical use in Red Dead Online when this update hits. Next up is to stockpile on gold bars. So some of the content from the summer update will be locked behind the premium currency of gold bars. This means that you won't be able to purchase it with normal cash and you will actually need gold bars to make some of the purchases, whether it's outfits or potentially weapons, maybe even new horses. We know this because every update so far into Red Dead Online has had some content locked behind the gold bars and there's no reason for Rockstar to just randomly stop doing this. I believe the most expensive item in Red Dead Online currently that's locked behind gold bars is the Black Arabian that costs 42 gold bars. So with that in mind, I'd recommend somewhere between 50 to 100 gold bars is an ideal amount to have saved. Obviously, if you guys have over 100, that should be well over enough. If you didn't know already, the most efficient way to earn gold bars is actually to build daily challenge streaks. You only need to do one challenge per day and that keeps your streak so you can just log on and do the easiest one you get each day such as picking carrots or selling meat to a butcher and you can very quickly build up those streaks. Rockstar have also very generously given us double daily challenge rewards for the past two weeks so I hope you guys have been logging in each day and building your streaks and just racking in those gold bars. If you have a 21 day streak you can actually make over 10 gold bars per day during this bonus period which is pretty insane but normally without the bonus you'll still be making five gold bars per day if you're completing all the challenges. Next up is stocking up on fish, perfect pelts and feathers. This could be useful in preparation for the trader role as we know it's going to involve furs, skins and butchery so you're going to be able to collect materials and produce valuable goods to sell. There's currently no details or description of exactly what items 
will be requiring to craft or trade for the trader role. However, having a good stock of a variety of materials and animals could actually help you out for this one. I've been trying to store a few of each type of fish in the game and also a variety of perfect quality 3 star animals in my satchel. Remember that small animals can be stored directly in your satchel, so you can fill up now on all sorts of bats, squirrels, rats, chipmunks, toads, or other small birds. And you can also stock up on other parts harvest from animals such as claws. And one of the most useful things about improving your trader role is to be able to improve your satchel and carry more items. Next up is to stock up on all ammo types and order them through the catalogue. What this is going to do is it's going to order them straight to your post office or your camp lockbox. Now this is important for a few reasons. First of all, you can only actually carry a very small amount of ammo on your person, but if you order it through the catalogue, you can order up to a thousand of each ammo type. And second of all, post offices are basically all over the map. No matter where you guys spawn in the game, you're probably going to be very near a post office, and that basically provides ammo for you no matter where you are on the map especially if you're somewhere that doesn't have a gunsmith such as Blackwater. I have full stacks of regular, high velocity and express ammo for every single weapon and ammo type just sitting in my post office for whenever I want to restock and it basically means you have a good amount of ammo and you never run dry. I believe this one will be most handy for the bounty hunter role as a licensed bounty hunter can track down targets and capture or kill depending on how honourable you are in your pursuits. Occasionally, nearby players with high bounties can also be designated targets, so as you can imagine, having ammo available at every post office is going to make you a much better bounty hunter, or if you're on the opposite end, will make you a much harder target for bounty hunters to take out. Progression in the bounty hunter role will offer rewards such as a reinforced lasso, gun spinning tricks, and also advanced tracking skills. Next up is cold hard cash. And you might be wondering, well, how much money should we actually save up for the summer update? Now, if you look at the most expensive items in the game right now, I believe the most expensive purchase is around $1,000. So I would estimate that at least $3,000 would be enough to keep you guys covered. Of course, it does depend on how much you like to splash out when a new update hits. If you're someone that likes to buy everything, all of the new clothing items and weapons, everything released, you probably want to have more than that. But if you're someone that's a bit more conservative with your spending and you only want to buy a weapon if it's the new best in slot, such as there's no real need to have every repeater in the game, you only really need the one repeater that has the best stats. So if you're someone that's a bit more conservative, you'll probably be able to make do with between two to three thousand dollars. I have seen some posts with people that have saved tens of thousands of dollars. I honestly think that's a bit overkill, but I guess you can never have enough money, right? At the number 4 spot are tonics and provisions. Now these are super useful to keep your cores refilled and also provide gold fortified cores for giving you the edge in PvP. Tonics and provisions are currently 35% off in the game if you do want to purchase them, but I would recommend crafting them and cooking them and saving you guys a bit of money. The absolute best meat that you can cook in the game is called Big Game Meat. The reason this one is the best is because when you cook it with a herb, it'll actually give you a gold core. And depending on which herb you cook it with, it'll actually give you a gold core in either stamina, health or deadeye. So this is super useful to have this stocked, piled and uh, ready for um, eating out of your satchel. If you want to get yourself some big game meat, you can get it from bison, wolves, cougars and alligators. At the number 3 spot is ranking up. Now you can unlock everything in Red Dead Online if you're rank 100, so if you're already over rank 100 you don't really need to worry about this one, but if you're below rank 40, you might want to spend a bit of time ranking up your character to at least rank 40 or 50 before the summer update hits. There may be level requirements on some of the new content, so you don't want to find yourself having to rank up after the update just to access the content, you want to be ready for it, ready to purchase when it becomes available. Currently Rockstar are doing a bonus where you get 40% extra XP when you're playing showdowns. This is an excellent way to rank up very quickly if you guys are needing to make a few levels before this update. I'm also curious to know what rank my viewers are in Red Dead Online, so if you guys are watching, please take a second to go down at the comment section, leave me a quick comment and let me know what rank you are in the game. And while you're down there, if you could take a second and leave the video a like, 
and also subscribe if you are new to my channel, it really helps support my page. Moving on to the number 2 spot are ability cards. Now these are probably one of the biggest drains of money in Red Dead Online, however they are so important. You want to at least have one Deadeye card upgraded to tier 3, and at least your 3 passive ability cards also upgraded to tier 3. If you want to know exactly what cards you should buy, I did make a whole video showcasing the top 10 must own ability cards depending on what you're doing in the game. If you're a PvP player, or if you're a hunter, or if you're into free roam events, you probably have different requirements. So I'll have that video linked on screen in case you guys are interested. But this is honestly a great time to upgrade your ability cards if you have some extra cash, as Rockstar have given us 30% off all ability card upgrades. And if you have Prime, it's an additional 40% off. So you're basically getting almost half off of any ability card upgrades if you do them this week. And that leaves me with the last tip for this video, and that's to at the very least have one weapon that can achieve a perfect pelt for every animal size. I'm sure by now most of you guys have this already, but if you don't already, this is going to be particularly important for the trader role. So for small animals, the only weapon that can achieve a perfect carcass is the bow and small game arrows, so make sure you have a bow and arrows ready, obviously. For moderate sized animals, you'll need the varmint rifle. For medium, I like to use the repeater, as it's very easy to use. And then for large and medium sized game, you have a bit more selection if you want to achieve a perfect pelt for this one, but you can either use the bow or rifles. But yeah, just make sure you have the ability to get a 3 star pelt on every type of animal, so if you are tasked to get a certain um, material, you're able to do so. And yeah, that's my top 10 list on preparing for the summer update into Red Dead Online. If you guys have any additional tips I've missed, feel free to leave them down in the comments section and help each other out. And if you do want to be kept up to date with all of the latest Red Dead news and updates, feel free to subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any future breaking updates. Have a great day guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.